Hey y'all, what's up? It is Tamoria with Transparently Tamoria. And on this episode of Why the Heck This Baby Won't Get Out of My Belly, we are coming to you at 37 weeks and 4 days. A bumpy. Y'all need a bumpy. Do y'all need a bumpy? Here. A bumpy. Okay? Because I'm tired and I'm done. All right? Um, this little boy and these inconsistent contractions are getting on my nerves. I have been attempting to install knotless plaits in my hair for the last four days. And this is how far I've gotten. That's it. Nowhere. Okay? I have not gotten anywhere. I'm tired. My kids driving me crazy. These doctors driving me crazy. Oh. <sighs> anyway, my robe and the matching baby swaddle is lost in the mail. <sighs> I ordered three of them. Those things are sixty dollars a piece. Like, where's my stuff? Okay, everything else coming. People still dropping off diapers and stuff on the porch. Where's my stuff? Mommy and me, where's my stuff? Okay. Anywho. Um, doctor update. My stress test was good last week. Baby is looking good. They did an ultrasound. Um, he is going to have these big eyes, like the rest of my family. Um <laughs> What else? Um, the doctor, they had no concerns about his, at first, the nurse kind of made me, like, the tech kind of made me, like, a little nervous, because she walked in, and she was like, girl, did you eat? And I was like, no. So, I <laughs> I had to eat something, and then, of course, once I ate, he started going crazy. So, the thing, and she was like, let me find out you're having contractions. Let me find out I'm having contractions that I can't feel, because that's what I'm talking about, son. Come through, push through, all the way through, all the way out, without letting me feel you, Okay. Uh, um let's see according to my doctor my fasting numbers are too high the numbers throughout the day were fine the intermittent numbers that i was taking were fine um but my fasting ones were entirely too high you guessed it another prescription so i am now on insulin i'm on iron i'm on calcium i'm taking my prenatals i'm back to pricking my finger four times a day and I now have to check my blood pressure twice a day. It scares me because it's making me feel like these insulin pills are going to do something to my blood pressure. Because why am I checking it so often if my blood pressure is normally on the lower end? Come on, because if it starts messing my blood pressure, I'm going to stop taking it. I just want y'all to know that, okay? Because I don't have time. Preeclampsia is not anything that I want to add on top of all this other stuff that's going on. Um, but yeah, so the pills um, that they put me on for the insulin works some days. The other days, it's just like, phew. so like last night, <laughs> I was starving at midnight. I ate a sandwich and then I took the pill. Woke up this morning, y'all, my limbo was like 97. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't eat that sandwich because I definitely should not have had two slices of potato bread um, at midnight. And then check my, you know, my iron or whatever. And not my iron, I'm sorry. Check my blood pressure, my sugar levels that, you know, morning. But um, on Thursday, I'm getting, they're going to check my cervix. I have been declining all checks up until now. So I'm, I'm going to allow them to check my cervix this week. Um, they're going to do a membrane sweep on Thursday. And of course, I have to do another stress test with the baby. And at this point, I'm just trying to find all ways to get this baby up out of here, okay? Spicy food didn't work for me. I, I'm not a spicy food eater. So, somebody was like, try the public spicy wings. Mm, I did it. And the only thing that it did was send me to the bathroom and it was not pleasant. It was not fun. It was not interesting. It was hard to get down. Those wings were spicy. Then they told me to try Papa spicy wings. Y'all, I think I probably got through maybe one one piece of chicken, a wing, and probably not even the whole thing. That freaking chicken was so, who eats that? Who does that? And my husband was like, put blue cheese on it. What? Ew. 
I don't even like, no, I'm not a blue cheese. I'm a ranch girl. I am a ranch girl. Do y'all eat blue cheese with y'all spicy wings? No, no, I don't, I don't want that. I do normally eat blue cheese, but with this pregnancy, I cannot eat blue cheese. And I don't eat blue cheese with spicy chicken. I don't eat spicy chicken. So, like, if I have, like, a honey garlic chicken, I like some blue cheese, maybe some blue cheese. Or, but most, I would prefer ranch over any of that. Um, buttermilk ranch. By can. Anyway, um, so, we've been on this self-induced labor type thing. <sighs> Y'all, one of my friends told me to go in the bathroom, squat, put some gloves on. Stick my hands inside of my vagina and feel for a gooey substance. And when I feel it, to yank it out. Yank it out. And I'm like, baby girl, who about to do that? Who gonna help me get up? Who doing that? What? Y'all better stop pulling y'all mucus plug out. What the hell? That's no, no, not doing that. Um, so spicy foods did not work for me. No, uh, the, um, me pulling my own mucus plug out. Hell no. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to try to do it. I'm not going to, I wouldn't even say that to anybody. I would not have told nobody that if I, if I did do that, I would not have even mentioned that that was even a thing. Like girl, you in the bathroom trying to commit suicide. No, I'm not doing that. Um, I have started drinking raspberry leaf tea. I was only doing one cup a day. And my doula was like, girl, that is not going to do anything. Have three cups. And I'm like, let me call my sister Google. So I Googled it. And of course, it was like, if you have three or four cups a day, it can send the baby into distress. Not having three cups of raspberry leaf tea. Um, I'm not trying to stress my baby out. I just want him to come. Okay. So I have started drinking two cups. Because she was like, drink three cups, and then if it, you know, if you start feeling surges, then back off, you know, lessen your number of cups. So instead, I'm going to go with an easier approach. And I'm, I started, I do two cups a day. I do one in the morning, one at night right before bed. Does absolutely nothing for my son. He don't care about the tea, okay? Um, only thing it does for me is makes me miserable, gives me lightning crotch. My freaking vagina feel like it's about to fall off. That's about it. Um... And I have to take it with honey because that tea is absolutely not good. It is not good. People, I've been watching YouTube videos and TikTok videos and all kind of other videos. And people was like, oh my gosh, it tastes good by itself. Girl, no, it don't. It don't taste, ew. No, it don't. Tea don't taste good by itself. I'm sorry. I have not found one yet that I can drink by itself without me gagging. That's pregnant or not pregnant. I can't drink none of them. By itself without adding honey or sugar or i have to have something inside of the tea um i add i think two tablespoons of honey it's probably too much but it's drinkable for me it's easy for me to get down um this other thing that i was sent let's see if i can find it it's called midwives midwife brew tea and in it is one cup of mango nectar or apricot one and a half of lemon verbena tea two tablespoons of almond butter and two tablespoons of castor oil i was done at castor oil okay i've known a lot of people that drink castor oil to get these babies out and yes it does it does induce their labor but the babies poop on themselves and that's a whole other issue like those no i'm not trying to danger him i just want him to get out okay we're not trying to do nothing crazy so i sent this to my doula and she was like first of all she laughed her first message back was laugh out loud a few women taking this says it helps some says it didn't others say it made them constipated i'm not trying to be constipated and pregnant okay because hemorrhoids are not a joke i got through with my first two pregnancies i do not want them with this one I'm not doing anything that's going to make me have hemorrhoids. No. Um, so she did say she's going to rub my belly with clary sage on Friday. And that we're going to do some meditation because I just let her know. I was like, I'm stressed out. I'm tired. I just want this baby to come. My family throwing all kinds of things this month. And I'm just like, of course, it just had to be me. I just had to be the one that was pregnant and can't go. Ugh. 
anyway um one of my closest friends went to aquatica today it took everything in me to, to tell her you know mm, i don't want to be in orlando and give birth <laughs> and my water breaker so i'm at that park because the hospital that i'm going to is all the way in palm beach like that's a long drive i don't want to deliver in orlando because i don't know anybody in orlando and i don't know anything about hospitals in orlando and i don't know anybody that knows anything oh well yes i do my best friend nope she did not have her baby in her. i don't think she had yes she did actually I think she did have Noel in Orlando, but I'm not sure. So I don't really know anybody that has given birth in Orlando, like a V-back in Orlando, because I've had a C-section before. So I had, my first was a C-section, as you, you guys know, and then I had my V-back and I'm trying to have a, you know, a, a two V-back, a second V-back. Um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. So why y'all ain't tell me that when I did my hospital bag video yesterday, last week, I ain't have no clothes in it. I go through the bag and I'm like, wait a minute, what I'm aware. But then I was thinking, you know what? Cause I think I, I intended for my robes to be here, but now I feel like I'm playing Russian roulette with the bag and I don't have time because the robes, I don't know where they are. They don't know where they are. They just said that they're in the mail. And they're, they're in transit. When I'm looking at transit, transit is who knows where it's nowhere at this point. It don't even load to let me even look at it. Um, I did try to order some from Etsy and I don't have time to be playing with them people because number one, why is, why is it $98 for a cotton robe and a swaddle? Like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and then I don't even know where it's coming from. So I don't even know if it's going to make it here in time. So I'm not ordering it from anywhere else. So it's just like. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that midwife brew. If you have tried that, comment below. Like, let me know if you tried that and if it worked for you. Because um, I'm scared of the castor oil. Like, that's the part that I'm mainly scared of. But, like, all the people that are trying it were, are saying that they went into labor, like, within hours of drinking it. And I'm just... And they're saying that their labor was, like, quick and fast. And it sounds lovely, but I'm just like... If my baby poop on himself, you know, on the in utero and swallows it like, oh, I will feel so crummy. I will feel so bad because it's just like, girl, you should have just let him come when he came. But, um, my, oh, hmm. so I got this little maternity, um, this maternity band from, or support band from Motive Medical. And y'all, let me tell you, because my son stay like, he really low. This thing does everything for me. The only thing that I hate about it is all these added extra straps because my belly sits kind of high. So it's like a big drop off at the bottom. So like if I move the wrong way, if I move too fast, it like slides down real quickly. And so I, it like the straps start scratching me or whatever. But um, that thing it is so helpful so if you have insurance go through aeroflow pumps breast pumps and you can order this band and i also got two pair of compression socks for my um sciatica my legs my restless legs or whatever and my sciatica um i got two pair of cute compression socks i don't even know where they at oh i, I think they're in the hospital bag and hospital bags in the truck i'm not about to go out there but um if baby doesn't come by next week, I'll show y'all the, the socks. But they're so cute. If you go on my Instagram page at Transparently Tamoria, follow me first. And like scroll down, you'll see one pair of the socks because I did make a post about them because they are absolutely amazing and they work. I do not have, my legs are not restless. Um, my le my sciatica is not bothering me. My Nothing like, I, my legs feel good when I go to sleep and I can actually go to sleep. And I feel like now that was the whole issue of why I couldn't sleep because of my legs. But now we good. My appetite is back. I have not gained any weight though. Um, but I have started sm eating smaller meals and making myself eat more food during the day. Um, cause the doctor, that's what they want me to do or whatever to make sure that my iron levels and my sugar, you know, stay kind of consistent or whatnot. And I'm starting to eat more food that has iron in it. Um, what else? I'm trying to make sure that I don't forget anything. But yeah, we're trying to get a baby out. We almost 38. We'll be 38 weeks on um, Thursday. 
I will upload a short because I've always, you know, I do my little, um, my little weekly dances whenever I turn a new, whenever we make it to a new week. So we're either going to make it to this new week or we're going to be seeing some baby toes and some baby hands and some little baby faces. So hopefully I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed that it's more so of baby toes and baby fingers and baby hands and little baby faces because I'm so over being pregnant. I don't want to be pregnant anymore. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm pretty sure my kid's done. I'm, I'm pretty sure my, my husband done. Like, when I tell you anybody can get it at this point, any little thing, little thing, drives me over the wall. Like, oh my God, y'all don't even understand. But anywho, that's a conversation for another day. I will see y'all next week. Goodbye.